Okay, so we have the unboxing here for the Pacific Rim Uprising Robot Spirits from Bandai and Tamashii Nations Sideager Gypsy Avenger. Now, on the front of the packaging, you have a really nice window with the figure itself on display in full fledged, beautiful blue glory of the packaging. You got a nice hexagonal grid as well towards the top, that gradient's off towards the bottom. And you get some nice mechanical detail towards the bottom right of the package, as well as a nice picture of the Gypsy Avenger itself on the front. On the side of the packaging, you get some of that insignia action, as well as more of the text you saw before. Showing off, this is a robot spirits figure, as well as a picture of the figure itself, along with some more of that hexagonal grid pattern. While on the top and bottom, you get some more of the Pacific Rim Uprising branding, along with the actual figure's branding, and another picture of the figure itself. So on the back of the packaging, we have the title and name of the Jaeger on the top, as well as a brief description. The Gypsy Avenger honors the heroic legacy of her namesake as the flagship leader of the Mark VI fleet. More than just a Jaeger, she is a symbol of hope to the millions. Really nice. And on the back, you also get some more promotional shots of the figure as well as the accessories that it comes with. So now that that's over with, I must say it's a really nice design for a box. I am actually really hyped for the movie and I'm really hyped for these figures and something's gonna have to prevent me from buying them all. Uh, that'd probably be money and, you know, responsibilities. But anyways, getting the actual figure out of its packaging, you get some more of that Tamashi goodness there. Ooh, hello there. We have some instructions as to how to remove. And these are going to come in handy because I actually don't know how this Jaeger works. All right, you get a lot of instructions that will be very helpful moving forward. Let's pull her out. Leave that backdrop in there. It's just a... Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Check it out. The Pan Pacific Defense Corps. Really nice. Okay, let's put that back in there. Clear this all up. So at first I really didn't know what to do. Either go with these guys or just skip out and wait for the Diamond Select versions. Now I do know that these have better articulation and uh, yeah, they scale better with the SH Monsters and Figure Arts line, so I decided to just go with these. At least for the time being, until something changes my mind. There's actually a really informative comparison video that Heisenberg and G Forever did together on the Luminous channel of Heisenberg. So definitely check that out if you haven't already, and that'll actually be very helpful and informative on showing you guys which ones are worth your time. So. Get the packaging out, and okay, so there is what we have. Let's pull out some of these accessories. All right, that falls out, everything falls in line. Let's get the Gypsy Avenger out. And really nice, okay, so there's some <laughs> typical plastic stuck in between the joints, and that was very easy to pull off. See, that's how you do it, please. Please, please just make it easier for me. Okie dokie. So far, so good. Okay. You know, at first these really didn't capture my eye until I saw some reviews on these guys and I was just like, oof, I, I definitely need to check these guys out because I'm missing out big time. Big time. I was a little bummed out that NECA kind of lost the license to actually making these figures, but now that I think about it, and look at these guys in hand. Wow. I'm actually kind of happy that Tamashi and Diamond Select have gotten the free reigns to do what they got to do with these guys. These guys are nice so far. All right. Yeah. I'm digging it. I like the translucent plastic they decided to use for the, I guess, the engine. I really don't know too much about the details. I have to go back and watch the first movie again before I check out Uprising when it comes out in theaters this month. So, if anybody is interested in picking up this figure, well, if you want my opinion, you're gonna have to wait till I actually get around to reviewing this guy because I have a lot on my plate. Just quickly take a look at the accessories it comes with. 
Okay, this looks pretty sweet. You get the multiple accessories here, the hands, and these flaps here that I don't know what to do with them, but I'm sure I'll find out once I look at the actual instructions. So, thanks for watching the unboxing for the Gypsy Avenger from Bandai and Tamashii Nations, the Robot Spirits Gypsy Avenger. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and there will be a review in the near future. The end card should be popping up. If you guys haven't subscribed and enjoyed this video, please do. I really appreciate the support. If you did like the video, give it a like. And some other videos that might interest you on my channel have popped up as well. Please check those out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all soon.